Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, in the next video, we're going to concentrate a little bit more on the concept of the acceleration in these equations. In this example, we're going to show you where the acceleration is constant because the highest order term in the equation for position is second order. That usually signifies that the acceleration will be constant. We're going to find the velocity at t equal 1, the velocity at t equal 2, and how long it will take when velocity equals 40 meters per second. Well, let's see here. Um, well, the first thing we should do is find the velocity and the acceleration equations. The velocity as a function of time is equal to the derivative of the position as a function of time, which is equal to 10t, and then the acceleration as a function of time, which is the derivative of the velocity as a function of time, is going to be equal to 10. The derivative of 10t is 10, which shows that the acceleration indeed is a constant, and assuming we're using standard units, this would be 10 meters per second squared, which means that every second the object will move 10 meters per second faster than the second before. And now what we're going to do is calculate the velocity at these various times. Well, let's start with velocity at time equals zero, even though they didn't ask for it. So we have our velocity equation, 10 times zero equals zero. So the object is not moving at time equals zero. Velocity when time is equal to one is equal to 10 times one, which is 10. And the units would then be meters per second if we use standard units. And the velocity when time equals two is equal to 10 times two, which is 20 meters per second. And so you can see that every second, the object will be moving 10 meters per second faster than the second before, which indicates the acceleration. Now, it doesn't take a lot to figure out that, well, after three seconds, it would be going 30 meters per second. After four seconds, it will be going 40 meters per second. So the answer is, time will be four seconds when velocity is 40 meters per second. But what if we didn't know that? Well, what we need to do then is realize that we go back to our equation right here, our velocity equation, where we have velocity as a function of time is equal to 10 times t. And now we're going to set the velocity equals to 40 meters per second to solve for t. So 40 is equal to 10 times t. That means that 10t is equal to 40, or t is equal to 40 divided by 10, which is 4 seconds. So just as we predicted, the time would be 4 seconds. So here we have an example where the acceleration is constant, which means that every second the velocity increases or decreases by the amount of the acceleration, and it would be fairly easy to predict what the time will be for us to reach a certain velocity. So in our second example, the next video, we're going to assume now that we have an e equation where the acceleration is not constant to see what would happen in that case. So stay tuned.